think I've always known that, but I never knew how to articulate it since I've been watching all these YouTube videos and learning like so much stuff. Like I'm teaching myself Polish. And honestly, there is something really helpful for me, for my personality, to learn visually and audibly, audio, audibly at the same time. So I see the word, um, I hear it spoken, and then I verbalize it. So I'm going to do the same thing for you. I actually bring the Word of God today. I'm going to be reading from 2 Chronicles, and particularly chapter 15, uh, a certain verse, actually certain verses. Uh, it's going to be 1 through 4. And the reason why I'm going to be reading this is because I haven't read the Word in a while. Like a good month and a good Which is very unusual for me. Usually I am a diehard on Joshua 1.8, which is do not let this word of the God depart from your mouth. Meditate in it day and night that you remember to do everything that's written in it. For by this way you will be prosperous and by this way you will have good success. And verse 9 goes on to say, uh, have I not commanded you to be strong and very courageous? I, the Lord your God, am with you. Psalms 1, 1 through 3 actually more or less say the same exact thing um, as Joshua 1, 8. Well, uh, I spoke to the Lord last night. I speak to the Lord every day. We, we talk every single day. You know, it's good. It's good. Uh, nothing's perfect, but it's good. And, and I cherish my relationship with the Lord. I cherish my time and my fellowship with the Lord. And, you know, just talking to Him. I'm, like I talk to you. Literally, I don't talk to him in any kind of way. It's straight up like, hey, Lord, what's up? This is this is what's on my heart. This is what I'm thinking. You know, show me this or show me that or lead me here or lead, or, or lead me away from there. Closed doors, open doors, whatever it is. I'm very specific to my prayers. So anyways, after you know, a good month and a half or so of not reading his word, because I've been studying other things that have been really helpful to me, that by the way, I believe that, that God opened the door for me to see, uh, to open my mind, the resistance of my mind, and I'm becoming way better in my life just over these past, you know, few months. One of the ways is Bob Proctor. Um, he teaches you how to take down your paradigm, those things that are in your subconscious mind that are holding you back for years, 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 years. Like probably 90% of us are being pulled back by our paradigms. <clears throat> our habitual, habitual things that we, that prevent us from moving forward. Those types of things. That's more or less a paradigm. That's what I'm learning. So in that, I thought it was really ironic that I read this verse. Now, I literally just, I asked the Lord for direction, what to read, what to read, what to read. And I'm going to tell you something. I can't tell you the last time I read the book of Two Chronicles. Uh, two, <laughs> two Chronicles. Um, but here I am. The Lord led me to Two Chronicles 15, 1 through 4. Uh, those numbers didn't come to me by any means. Actually, 19 did, and I was on my way to find something 19. But I came across this, and I'm telling you that this spoke to my heart, my soul. This spoke to my soul when I read this, because I knew it was for me, and it was very specific for me. Um, and if you would like me to read that to you, give me two thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, because um, I will read more if you'd like me to. I just got a message that came up on my phone. I'm not sure if I'm going to run out of runtime or not. But I hope I don't. Okay, so sure the... enough, I ran out of video time. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to have to call Google and find out. I just emptied my trash again because that was the problem with yesterday. Thank God I, I knew what to do because I learned that lesson yesterday. I emptied my Google trash. But I still have a lot of memory in my Google. So I'm going to have to call them and find out what's going on. Meanwhile, before I run out of time again, I am going to read you 2 Chronicles 15. That spoke to my soul that I told you about a moment ago, and I hope and pray this is for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like me to read to you again. If you'd like some more information.
inspiration if you'd like watching inspirational videos and reviews this is Joanne's inspirational video and reviews channel which I love doing I'm so passionate about this and thank you for watching thank you for liking my channel and subscribing as well there's a little word under there it says subscribe if you just tap it boom you're subscribed and you'll see my next videos coming up so meanwhile with no further ado I'm gonna get on to reading God's inspired word thank you for listening and having a heart for God. Here we go. This is what spoke to me yesterday. 2 Chronicles 15. Now the Spirit of, Lo now the Spirit of God came upon Ezra. Now, the Spirit of the Lord came upon this guy. And this is the Old Testament. So you can't tell me the Holy Spirit wasn't alive and very well in the Old Testament. Hallelujah. Now the Spirit of God came upon Ezra. I might be saying that son of Oded and he went out to meet Asa and said to him so the Holy Spirit of God said to this person hear me Asa and all Judah and Benjamin what is all Judah and Benjamin Judah and Benjamin are towns they're cities so the, God wants the entire cities these two cities to hear him which I think is pretty awesome Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. Joshua 1.8. Sounds familiar, right? If you seek him, there are tons of ifs in the Bible. Read the Bible over and over again. You'll see if, 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 if. If you seek him. If you seek him. He will be found by you. It's a promise. He will be found by you. Look at this. I sought him. I sought him in this book. And look at how he revealed himself to me. He will be found by you, but, see now look at, there's tons of buts in the Bibles too, but if you, are, if you forsake him, he will forsake you. That is a horrible place to be, a place I don't want to be. And this was like a warning to me too, because like I said, I had not read the word in like a month and three quarters. So if you forsake him, he will forsake you. It was a warning to me, and I hate that. For a long time, Israel has been without the true God. Israel, Israel is God's favorite people. That's his city, and yet even Israel, even Israel was without the true God, and it says for a long time. Without a teacher, without a teaching priest, it says, and without law. So... Israel really must have went wayward. But when in their trouble, but when in their trouble, check it out. Every time someone's in trouble, what do they do? They run to God. They run to God. We're sinners. We forget God. And then when we need Him, we run to Him. But when in their trouble, in their trouble, they turn to the Lord God of Israel, the Lord God of Israel, and sought Him. What did they do? They sought him. And he was found by them. See? So God has mercy. Even in our sin, when we turn away from him, if you turn back to him, that's why God's always calling and calling and calling. Turn back from your sin. Turn back to me. And I will have mercy on you. God's this word repeats itself over and over and over and over again and it's wonderful it's like it says the same thing over and over and over again and it's written in my heart I pray it's written in your heart I wish it's written in your heart I hope it's written in your heart I hope you have a will and desire to serve the Lord God Jehovah with all your might and you long for him I pray this hour that the Holy Spirit fills you and that you are anointed to receive his word, his truth, and his blessings. In Jesus' name. Do Venya. That's Polish for goodbye. Thanks so much. Subscribe and like.